Hello, this is Professor BRB. In this video, I would like to discuss paragraph separation. Um, it's obvious when we look at a page of text like this one with no paragraph se separations, that that's a very difficult uh, for a reader to sort of want to engage with. So um, almost all long text has some form of paragraph separation. The two most con common methods for separating paragraphs are skipping an extra line uh, between paragraphs and indenting the first line of the paragraph. Uh, in this video, we're going to deal with the skipping uh, a line method. And uh, if your document has been typed with double returns to create a skipped line, it's actually better to remove those and put the space back in uh, with your InDesign paragraph style. Fortunately, this is quite easy to do. If you go to Edit, Find, Change, there is a custom query that has already been programmed into InDesign multiple return to single return, because this is a common situation. And I'm just going to go ahead and say change all. Five replacements. Great. Uh, so now uh, I, I still have my paragraph returns here. And if you cannot see these, make sure that you have hidden characters turned on there. Um, I just, uh, we can see here my baseline grid uh, is not lining up to my type and I would like it to. So I'm going to reset my baseline grid. First, I have to look at my type specifications and see that my letting here is 15 points. I need to make my baseline grid increment equal to my letting of my text type. So I can go to InDesign Preferences, Grids, and if you are on a Windows machine, the preferences will be under the Edit menu. But they will function in exactly the same way. So let's go ahead and change my increment. Of, here's my baseline grid to 15. Click OK. And I can see my increment is correct, but it's not starting exactly where I want to. So let me just pull this down. And I can see that my first baseline uh, in my Y box up at the top is at 3 picas 7.8 points. Let's go back to InDesign Preferences Grids. And here's my 3 picas. So I just have to type in 7.8 points. Top of page is correct. And I'm going to uncheck Grids in back. And click OK. Perfect. Uh, now I want to create a paragraph style. Uh, so I am going to put my cursor in my first paragraph and choose paragraph styles, new paragraph style. And I'm going to call this text type spaced after P uh, for space after paragraph and make sure that Apply Style to Selection is checked. Uh, I can hit now, go in my style to Indents and Spacing, and where I have Space After here, I need to enter a value that is equal to my letting. There are 12 points in a pica, so when I type in one pica, that represents 12 points, and we know our letting is 15, so I need an additional three points to make that equal. And I'm just going to go ahead and click OK. Now, when I go view the page and window, uh, I can see that an extra 15 points has been added between my paragraphs. So I'm just going to go right here. I don't want to apply it to my headings. And I'm going to apply that style. And that works great. Um, one of the advantages of doing it this way, rather than using the extra return, is that if I decide to make a change, I can always change it through editing my style, and I won't have to go back and individually deal with every paragraph. So let's take a look at this uh, and look at our baseline grid. And you can see the reason that we wanted to have our 
space after be equal to our letting because even when we have a space after here, the letting uh, the baseline of the next paragraph lines up with the column on the left. So we want the baselines to line up um, across our column. By the way, if you don't want to look at your baseline grid all the time because it can be kind of visually distracting, up here uh, in your control bar under video uh, view options, you can just turn your baseline grid off and you can turn it back on. Uh, don't be alarmed if you cannot see it um, when you are zoomed out because it automatically turns itself off at, at uh, small views and it'll just come right back uh, when you zoom in. Uh, in the next video, we will discuss paragraph separation by indenting the first line of each paragraph.